All right, here I go. Play Inspire the Dragon Blind. Definitely have not tried this two other times. Don't tell him. Don't tell YouTube. They don't have to know. Ah, oh, this intro I'm seeing for the first time. Oh yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Oh wait, crap. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to do this. Definitely no technical difficulties. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Gnork character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn He's quite into nasty for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world. They call him Nasty Nork. Because when oh, he goes rat. to the bathroom, he doesn't wash his hands. Ugly that does it. He didn't wipe his butt. He just pooped and got up. Looks like I got some things to do. So you had short, sweet, to the point. The plot is established very quickly. <laughs> so yeah, as I was definitely not saying before, I've only played like a little bit of this, like the demo. But yeah, Spyro for most of my life was kind of just like a just just out in my peripheral vision played a lot of crash heard about spyro saw him in like the mcdonald's happy meals and stuff but never actually played spyro okay so i'm seeing the controls here so there's some there's like analog controls to some extent because I can make him do this But I think he might only move in eight direct wait. No, no, wait it, it definitely seems like there's some kind of angle lock, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's go over here Nestor Thank you for releasing me Spyro free ten dragons in the artisan world then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Remember a steakhouse my folks took me to having a PSX set up with Spyro. Why is there a fairy? Oh, okay. So you can save the game, replay the cutscene, or continue. I would say it would be weird for a PS1 to be at a steakhouse, but there was a PS2 at a dentist office I used to go to. Oh, yeah. Headbutt, collect Jim. Everybody loves Jim, so you better collect him. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have cool your jets! Do you know what the Jesus dragon Christ. Guy following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. Is that the Lakitu of this game? Oh no, because he's, he's in front of the camera. Yeah, uh, like someone was saying, there's a dodge roll. Oop. 
What? Is it- is it doing it for you guys? Honestly, it might be my SD card. I might need to get a faster SD card for this. Anyway, you might be wondering why I'm playing the original and not the remake like I did with Crash. And, well, you know, I, I played Crash before, so I kind of wanted to see what the remake was like. Whereas this is my first time. But I want to I wanna see what the original's like. Yeah, so it's a little Banjo-Kazooie-esque. A little kazoo esque. Oh. So there's a there's a lot of places I can go. A lot of paths. I can go up here. Get the get that. I have twenty four. We can climb up this. Have some fun up here. Have a gay old time. Oh. Thomas. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And really? Don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not afraid of that. How's the game feel to control? Pretty good. Pretty good. He's a very floaty little guy. But I guess that makes sense. He's just a little feller. Oh, spin the town square. Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that, actually. I meant to do that, though. I'm not entirely sure what I need these for, but you know, it's a video game, so it's probably something. What? <laughs> Byros, please stop. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And I'm assuming I can't really look down all that much. I can do this, but I can't look down. Is there like a first person camera? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. And now I can go get the wing cap. Can't do the dodge roll in the air. I'll always have a soft spot for graphics like this. Oh, me too. I love the fifth generation. And just how it looks like the texture warping and everything. And yeah, like I said... Crash, I played the remakes because I had already played the original games, but this, I, I felt we needed to go original. <clears throat> mm. Got that, got that crud in my throat, the nasty Nork crud. But that's nothing new. Anyway, Town Square. And you'll notice that the music in this game 
is very Amanda show. That's because they have the same composer. Now, how he landed those two gigs, I have no idea. <laughs> so you can do that. Kind of do like an air boost. Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. All right. I am but a small dragon. I do not know what L2 and R2 are. So yeah, I, pl I played a little bit of the hub world and a little bit of this stage because it was in the crash demo, but not much. Like, I I'd say it's, it's mostly blind. Oh, I needed him, didn't I? Ow. Oh, oh, the dragonfly is my health bar. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, no, wait, I can't stomp on these guys. Stomp on these guys, I think I just said. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. oh. Spyro's got a little bit of a turning radius, I won't lie to you. Ooh, wait, wait. Right. Oh, okay. Blue Jim. You've heard of Jim. Well, get ready. Get ready, boy, because we got we got news for you. Oh, an extra Sporo. Oh, and he collects some of the little gems for me. Devlin. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> oh yes. The worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know on the tip you of my wiener slides by pressing X at the very top of your jump yeah yeah I've been I've been gliding I've been gliding yeah I'll, I'll say the remake did better than the originals give all the dragons a unique design I didn't know about that though I do know some characters got like Barely extend. Oh, hey, look, he's like a he's a bullfighter. Well, fight me. Ow, he did. Did he say X instead of cross? You know, I he might have. I wasn't paying attention. I just know that he was telling me how to glide again. He's like, it's really important that you need to know this. So what happens if I press select? Select, you get like the information. Right, so there's four dragons, 200 treasure. That makes sense. There's a music sound effects, vibration, passive and active camera. I mean, I think it's officially cross, but I always called it X. You know, so far, so far the stage is a little linear, but that's all right. I'll just fry some chicken. So I'm guessing the butterflies are the health. Like, he eats the butterflies, and then I get more health, however that works. Wait, what's, it, what's over here? Oh, I thought, I thought maybe this would be something. It does not look to be. Oh, oh, you see that? You see that fun texture warping? Let's let's get real close up on them textures. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Ouchie. Zooey mama. You missed out on that texture warping in the Grinch. <sighs> yeah. Spyro, 
Did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. Okay, man. I'm getting a little winded. D dude, calm down. I mean, I guess if if somebody stole my child, I would, I would probably be like pretty worked up too. You know, collect all the good stuff. So that's like a portal out of the level, I think. Yeah, see, the, the PlayStation wasn't very good at, like, the 3D math. If I recall right, the Nintendo 64 was the only one, only console of the fifth generation to actually have a Z buffer. So, Nintendo 64 is a lot less prone to stuff like this than the PlayStation and Saturn were. Yeah, so chicken equals butterfly, butterfly equals health. Now, where, where am I going? Because I, I don't want to go home yet. I mean, maybe there's like, maybe I got to come back with like new moves or something. I don't know. I can go up here. There's nothing up here. Mm, yeah, because I'm not... I'm not seeing a lot. Let me, let me check that other area real quick, just to be sure. Yeah, because there's like... I mean, there's something up here. There's a dragon. I don't know how to get up there, though. Can't, and I can't jump on the fountain. Cannot platform off the fountain, so I don't know. You can run pretty fast, though. We... Uh, oh, no! Think about where you can glide to. Where I can glide to. I mean, I might need to go through the portal anyway, because I think... I think I'm stuck on this end. It's a- it's a learning experience. So does... Do the gems, like, reset? Do I have to collect all those gems again? Like, Banjo 1? No, I don't. Okay. Oh. Hold on. It'll... It'll- it'll work itself out. Just give it a second. Okay. Yeah, I probably need to get a faster SD card for this. Uh, I'll be sure to do that before the next stream of this. Okay. Okay, where can I glide? Is there anything down there? I don't think so. It, nope, that is- Oh! Viro. My boy. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, not quite. Not quite. Yeah, I don't I don't think I can quite make that. I have to do it from somewhere higher, I think. Hey Zeal. Hey everybody. Okay, I think I have to be over here. I don't think there's anything else I can do over there. Oh, wait, 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 I have an idea. I have a plan. There we go, okay. Oh, oh, there he is. So that's the kind of thing I'm gonna be doing, eh? Okay, well, we gotta find this guy and kill him. 
Where'd he go? I hear him. Oh, there he is. Now that he's down here. Wait, where'd he go? Did he teleport? <laughs> I think that guy teleported away from me. What a jerk. Yeah, so if you kill an enemy where you already got the the things, you just get one of those little orbs. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh lord lordy. Look who's 40. Okay, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Yes, there we go. With enough orbs, you can obtain more dragons. I don't know if you're lying to me. This is a man that lies to me fairly often. Oh my god. That's a very tight glide for being like one of the first levels in the game. Okay, okay. stop. Get off the door. The orbs go towards extra lives. See, now that I believe. Oh, more dragons. Specifically this dragon right here. I see. Okay, okay. Okay. Right. Did you ever know anybody who called them free men? Like, like, oh, I got a free man. Those people cannot be trusted. Thor. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, you're welcome. This is the only game to use that system. Okay. In fact, they even named a movie after it. Free guy, which I never actually watched. Okay, so I think we, I think we got everything. I think we got everything. So that didn't take too long. Yes, give me the gems. There are gems, but no crystals. Fairly Odd Parents episode. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I'm possibly saving too often, but you know, whatever. It's, it's basically free. Just like the guy. Actually, this is probably the, supposed to be the first level. You can just tackle those in any order you want, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is not a command I have, Bingo Bo. I'm assuming that's a command Kovar has, but not me. But we kind of got like a central hub 
Yeah, and there's all these doors here. So you kind of just gotta choose a direction. It's, it's kind of like Fungi Forest in DK64. If y'all have played that. What's down here? Oh. Dragon House. I don't have that command either. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Yeah, okay. That that sound effect kind of sounds like uh like the 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 instrument that plays in Majora's Mask when the moon's about to fall. I guess I need a key for that. Yeah, I don't I don't have any of those commands. I don't have any none of those. Now you're just- now you're just fooling. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's- it, it's brief, but- Oh, this isn't real! It's not real! It's like a roadrunner wall. I think it's Tom Kenny. I- I think it is Tom Kenny, yes. I, I do believe in the first game, Tom Kenny was Spyro. Okay, Bingo Bo, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop that. It, 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 you're getting a little spammy. <laughs> and I don't like spam! Wait, was that some? No, that was just Debris. Ah, Debris! Lindar. Lindar chocolate. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Me? No, never. So, so it auto saves when I get a dragon, or is it only the fairy? Oh, I'll go in here now. Hey, feller. I legit don't recall. That's fair. Fifteen naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. Uh, hillb hillbilly back to hillbilly the dragon. Home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Only one way to find out. I don't want to find out. <laughs> I'm scared. Can't wait till you get to the Amanda show level. Me neither. Wait. Wait. Okay, nothing there. You'll get to meet the dancing lobsters. I'm gonna hit you in the head with a dragon. Honestly, that's... That- I- I- I can't tell if that sketch is funny or not. <laughs> like, I thought it was hilarious when I was a kid, and maybe that's all that mattered. WIZARD! WIZARD! Oh, is he evil? Oh no, Wizard's evil! I wanted to be friends! Wizard beer! I brew it up here on the mountaintops! Ow. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> it's not clever, but it's funny. <laughs> I guess that's fair. The, <laughs> the Amanda show had a had a lot of stuff that I would describe like that, to be honest with you. Honestly, I'm I'm much more of an all that fan in my adulthood. But I, I wouldn't call a man to show bad or anything. Oh, to totally Kyle was a good skit. 
that much I'll, I'll say, like, that, that skit I really enjoyed. Spyro, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Okay, so triangle to drop down while you're in the middle of flying. It's the game that inspired 64 DS's controls. Do you mean like, like you control it with the D-pad? Because, because this game does have analog. Like, see? D? Oh, look at his jaunt. He's just, he's, the Spyro is just so happy to be here. Hey, check this out. Look at my foot. <laughs> look at my foot. Check it out. Check it out. Face sorting. We, we got it, I guess. Yep, I do be dropping mid-flight. That is correct. Wait, hang on. That is that a gym up there? That is. That is a gym up there. I I can I can go over here. This this looked like out of bounds. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right, Bingobo. It, it sort of it sort of tries to do like faux analog when you're playing with the D-pad. So wait, is there just how far can you go? Okay, <laughs> a hidden barrier blocks your progress. Well, I mean, I guess it's not that hidden. It's like where those wave breakers are. I'm surprised they let you go up here. I'm gonna be honest. This feels this feels like out of bounds. But they're just like, no, no, come on up. Oh, was that? Oh, it's the thief, man. I thought that was a wizard. Hang on, we'll, we'll get him. I want to collect this first. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Kill. Kill and maim. Their Spyro's physics are weird. I like eggs. I like eggs. Okay. Ooh. So wait, what do I? What am I missing? I'm still missing a lot of stuff. Where did, where have I not gone? No, I've been in here. I mean, maybe there's more places to go up at the top. I'm gonna save. But yeah, I mean, 64 DS made Mario 64 play about as good as it could have with a D-pad. But... Again, I would like to apologize about my ODE freaking out. <laughs> like I said, by the time next stream happens, I'll, I'll try to have that sorted out, but... Until then, we just got a deal. <laughs> like I said, I think my SD card is just barely not fast enough for this. So I'll have to, I'll have to get another one. Which kind of sucks, because I just, I just bought one for my Switch. And if I had known that it was going to do this, <laughs> then I, I would have bought three. Or maybe I would have ignored- I wouldn't have bought one of the ones I already bought, because I could just use this one. I don't know. Whatever I'm trying to say. Yeah, you can just- you can go up here. But, but yeah, like Zeal's saying... Like Zeal's saying... <laughs> it, it's almost kind of authentic. Fragmentation can be a hassle too. Uh, so what would you reckon would be better? Like, 
smaller fragments or bigger fragments? Do you have any idea? I mean, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking for stuff. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that uh, LOD model. <laughs> yeah, so anywhere past the wave breakers. Oh, I meant when the hard drive needs defragging. Oh, okay, so... So maybe I should try d defragging my SD card? I didn't know that was a... I didn't know that was a thing you did. But if so, then that's uh. That's good to know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm still missing a lot of stuff. Can I can I get on top? Can I get on top of the palace? I don't I don't see any way for me to do that. But I kinda wanna do it. Hmm. Yoshi is up there. I wouldn't recommend doing that, actually. Oh, I got it. It'll erase all my save data. Grun Gruntilda will show up and say... What is this music? It's not healthy for flash storage. Oh, okay. Remove and re-add. Oh, like the files. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm missing something. There's a beach behind the level exit. Oh, okay. Oh, so there... So there is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I think the ODE accidentally read the wrong track this time. Dang. Spyro is just having <laughs> problems. Here, uh, hang on. I might, I might be able to do something about this. Let me, let me try. Maybe if I do a full load, that it'll help. Yeah, I can do that with, uh, the controller. I think it's just the thing with that level in particular because it's done that with my emulator too. Hmm, maybe. But uh, anyway, we can, we can do this. We can do this real quick. So we just uh, do this and then full load. And maybe that'll help us with some of our problems. We gotta sit through the PlayStation BIOS again. I find it hard to believe you in physical copies of all the Rockman Complete Works games. I don't. Don't tell Capcom. Oh, okay. So, so you're saying that it, it's it, yeah, it's probably just. Oh, what's this? Different logo. Oh, oh, I booted the wrong game. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you put Spyro Three on the top. Oh, this stream is just a clusterfuck. <laughs> Complete clusterfuck. Now the question is, is it gonna boot to my ODE or the game? Because I would really prefer if it was the ODE. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, so Spyro Gear of the Dragon appears on top, which which screws me up. Okay, okay, listen. PlayStation logo, one more time. One more time. I mean, if there's any logo, if there's any logo that I don't mind seeing 40 times, it's this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I mean, maybe having a bit of technical difficulties is just authentic to the PS1 experience. And where's the, where's the door? Okay, there it is. Imagine if we had a Virtual Boy Mario game besides Mario Clash. We almost did, but they canceled it. Ow. And it's it sucks because I really wanted to play Virtual Boy Mario Land. It looks like it would have been fun. And also, it probably would have been the only other game where Wario was the villain. We almost had Virtual Boy Donkey Kong Country 2 also. Also true. Honestly, that one I'm very glad did not come out because can you imagine trying to play Donkey Kong Country on that? That would have been painful. <laughs> like, if you thought the Game Boy was a bad place for Donkey Kong, then oh boy. Oh boy, boy howdy. You, you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, insert the key. I am missing five. Okay. Hang on, I wanna I wanna I wanted to check this room a bit better. So I'm missing five gems somewhere. Oh, you can press triangle to go to the other menu if you want. Oh, it's, oh, it's just the inventory screen, okay. Mario games on Virtual Boys that you cannot have proper Luigi. Maybe you can break this. No, okay. I thought may maybe? You never know. Five gems somewhere. Did I keep the egg? Yeah, I kept the egg. What is what's that guy doing then? Yeah, please die. Please everybody die. Hmm. There is a seam on this rooftop. Maybe I can glide over to the rooftop. Go! Go, Spyro! Go! No. That's not even the most efficient way to reach the rooftop. Yeah, suck it, Gandalf! Is there a beach over here? Oh, well, I wish there was. Oh, okay, but I, I get a checkpoint over here. This game's very generous, very, very relaxed. You know, it, it's it's not it's not too picky. It's not too punishing. Why is water his weakness? Well, it had to be something. He'd be too powerful. No, you get over here. You don't even have the egg anymore, but I don't care. 
I don't care. I need you to die. Oh, no. Fudge. Fudge or nutter. I just, I need to find those five gems. There's five gems somewhere in this godforsaken level. And by God, I'm going to find them. No, you, you get over here. Give me your orb. The orb of power. Oh, here they are. Or, there's one of them. Okay, I, I need to check. I need to check all around here because I don't want to... I don't want to leave a stone unturned. Okay, so there's... Like, three that I'm missing somewhere. I just, I missed that one. Maybe the five gems were inside you all along. I hope not. I feel like that would hurt. But no, they were right there. Warp. All right, get me out of here. Get me out of here. What's over here? Hmm? Uh -huh. A dragon that I have not collected. I mean rescued. What are your thoughts on the boss fights? I'm guessing that there are no boss fights in this game. Cool flash. Do that again. Or maybe the maybe there's a final boss. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. Oh, okay, no. Never mind, there are bosses. Is there anything else around here? There is something boss adjacent. It was up. Uh, no. Nah. I still got- I still got stuff to do here. Did he fart? I think he just farted. Byro is voiced by Carlos. Oh, so he's- He's not voiced by Tom Kenny in this one? He's Tom Kenny in the sequels. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I got all the gems here. And there's one more level to check out. <laughs> oh, it's dark. Oh, he's got a shield. Shielding in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely a fart noise. Okay, need a key again. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. There's, there's stuff over there. supposed to be a high-pitched grunt. I don't know. But- Ow! Uh-oh, it's King Hippo. Oh, it's you. 
I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. It's kind of like a reversal. You got to do the opposite thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lo look at that low poly fire. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of surprised it has polys at all. Most games would probably just, like, <laughs> just make it a sprite. Honestly, there's just a lot of discussing the PS1 itself in this stream. Gives it a more cartoon-like appearance. True. Darius! Like this, Where's your twin? Cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Blood uses 2D images as the water in Super Mario Sunshine. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised by that. Mario Sunshine has a lot of, like, really neat little graphical tricks. Like, honestly, a people don't mention it much, but the whole goop system is actually pretty impressive. If I recall right, it stores like a goop map of the entire level. Fun, fun fact, when shooting piss, you'll kill enemies in sunshine. I mean, that's true in real life, too. Not that I would know. Now what's over here? Ooh, the palace. Uh-oh, this guy. This guy's tough. I, I think I see what I have to do. He cannot be attacked from the front. Only from the back. May you whack. Yeah, I mean, so far I'm, I, you know, I'm digging it. I kind of, I kind of knew I would, but you know, it's nice to be right. Okay, give me the key. Now, how old is this key? Hmm. I need to know. Me. Does anyone else love the look of vertex lighting in old 5th gen games? Oh yeah, absolutely. R Rare got really good at that kind of thing. What do I got? <laughs> I legitimately read that as dank hollow for a second. Okay, so I'm close to being done. I'm missing a few gems. The levels in this game aren't particularly big, but that, that's okay. That's okay. You know, it's it's not about the size, it's about how you use it. There we go. All right.
Sonic R in particular also benefits greatly from it. Indeed it does, and it's uh, a little broken on PC, but you can get a mod that brings it back. And I recommend you do so if you play Sonic R. And you should play Sonic R. I don't care what nobody says, that game's actually good. It might not be great, but it's good. <laughs> Sonic R is a good game if you understand what it is. Exactly. I think some people are just kind of taken aback because, you know, of the, you know, because of the controls, because they, they see Sonic, you know, there is this little guy, this little running guy. And they're, they're like, oh, he's going to control like a little running guy. Ow. But then it's like, no, he actually controls like a car. Ow. No, you need to die. And yes, the biggest fault Sonic R has, in my opinion, is that the game's over in like an hour. <laughs> and I mean, look, I can appreciate it. Like I appreciate, I'm gonna die. I died, but um, I, I appreciate it, what it is. But like next to Mario Kart 64, which like it or not, it was competing against. Uh, and five tracks doesn't look so good, you know. Now, granted, the tracks are bigger and more intricate. But nonetheless, there's only five of them. Oh, yeah, you can kill them, like, real fast if you just... If you, if you real quick about it. If you're real fast, you can be fast. That's what my dad always said. So Toasty kind of has like a whole like mini level before you fight him. Or before you race him or whatever you do. Because Bingo Bo has been extremely unsubtle. Oh. Let me know if the game gets too loud, by the way. It's a little, uh, it's a little inconsistent. Oh no, I wily coyote him. Audio mixing is just a myth. Yeah, that's what we've learned on Dustin stream. I'm dead again. <laughs> the Blackberry Pie version of Minecraft? Well, idiots that you are, for you have misnamed the Raspberry Pie. You have a limiter on your game capture audio. No, but I'll probably set one up. <laughs> Dishonorably mentioned the Grinch on the Dreamcast. Yep, yep. That that submarine was an experience, I'll tell you that much. Did he just whack the wolf? Which is not a euphemism for masturbation, I promise. It is now. Yep, yeah, that's how it works. Oh, is that Toasty over there? Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. You. 
Hang on, just a sec. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely hear the Rocco in that. Okay, so... Hang on, hang on. How's that sound? Here, let me, let me see. Let me give it a test. Check. Check. Testing. Testing. Maybe a little low. Er. Check. Check. Testing. Well, it's not loud anymore. Okay. Well, let me know if it needs adjustment. Oh, is that him? Oh, it's Jack. Oh. Is this what we meant by bosses? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, since Bingo Bo was extremely unsubtle, as he tends to be. Ow. But do I have all the stuff? No, I don't. I think I'm missing a couple. Yeah, I'm missing four. Maybe there's something to the right here. Yeah, there is. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Gotta clear my throat a little bit. I like how Dustin's personally taking it upon himself to master this game's audio to normal gain levels. Well, somebody's gotta do it! And yeah, we can move on to the next area now. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. No. Oh, okay. How do I how do I make you trigger? I pick I picked the wrong option. Okay. Away we go. The peacekeeper's world. Oh, we're we're on the blue. You could chroma key that out. Add something in there. Uh-oh. The pirate. <laughs> the pirate fortress. Tyson! That's one of the moons of Saturn, you know. Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against y us. You're a cheetah. Stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. You're a Got fake it. dragon. I love the blue Gatorade water. No, see, that's just the fake water that they have at, like, the mini golf course. Well, it's real water, but, you know, they put the... They put the food dye in it to make it, like, extra blue. I can't believe you'd give your own brother the old fake water. Ah, yes, the arid. Oh my god, we're on Tatooine! Speaking of mini-golf, what's your favorite mini-golf course? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Are they fire? I don't think that's safe. I don't think that's safe to be doing that. I better put a, I better put a stop to this. Water is clear, not. B Water's clear, not blue. 
Yeah, technically the reason water is blue is because it reflects the sky. What in tarnation? I can I can burn down the circus. The reason the sky is blue is that it reflects the water. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just the poison geyser, of course. Was he shaking his butt at me? Was he was he shaking his butt at me? I don't know. I kind of ki just killed and asked questions later. Cliff Town. Oh, he was. He was indeed. So, murder must be committed. This... Okay. Yes, I have so many dragons. I kind of need them because I lost them <laughs> at the toasty level. Not from the boss, mind you, but from <laughs> the wolves that jumped on me. Uh, uh ow. You, now you cut that out. Oh wait, is there a key in the hub world? I guess there is. If the conditions were ever so slightly different, then the sky would be off gray and the sun would be red. That's true. And frankly, I just think that's beautiful. Use the cannon to break the ch- oh. Oh, okay. Oh! Can I push it? Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh ho, I'm rich with money. But I didn't see a cannon over here, which I find very suspicious. Maybe I can turn that one that way. Dr. Shemp. Oh god, we're gonna fight the Three Stooges! Ow. <laughs> and that's what happens when you try to fight the Three Stooges. Man, I'm tired of having three kids and no money. Why can't I have no kids and three money? So you can just kind of fire that wherever you want. Okay, okay, push, push, okay, okay, set it on fire, now, now, blow that up. Okay, yeah, that's that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. How am I doing? Got a lot. Not all, but a lot. Dang it, not again. <laughs> you need a lot of these orbs to get an extra life. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense. Hmm, I don't know how to get over there. Maybe I can blow up the geyser. <laughs> yeah, just turn right around the cannon. Nope. That does not seem to work. But you know what? I should probably go into a level now. Dry Canyon.
Hey everybody, this is Spyro, and we're looking for dragons in Dry Canyon. You ready? Oh! Ow. Nope. Nope. Little hidden alcove for hidden secrets to be found. Yeah, you need to die. You need to die. Boy, you need to die. Oh, no, wait, it's, it's boy, you ought to die. No. No, come back here. Come back here. Come back here, I want the egg. I want the egg. Come back here. Come back here. You can't run from me. You can't run from your crimes. You just gotta turn the... You gotta take the turns tighter than he does. But then I take the turns too tight. And it, and it doesn't quite work out. Maybe this is better. Maybe this is a better configuration. Come on, come on! Oh wait, I didn't... I didn't get an egg in uh, that one level in the last world. I don't know if it had one. I mean, I guess if I'm missing one late into the game, I know where to look. Hello. Conan! Thank you for releasing me. Oh, okay, he doesn't have much to say. I guess he's got a show to do. Me, me. Oh. <laughs> I love that. Cactus is just shaking off the dust. The, the ash. Which Shadow Mario? Sunshine or Galaxy 2? Galaxy. Well, see, actually, that would be Cosmic Mario. Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay, there we go. To make some fried chicken. No, don't do that. Don't whatever you were planning on doing, don't don't do it. Is there anything behind here? Nope. Borders. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> There's something a little weird about the, the quality on that one. I was born to glide. I don't know why I'm doing that. Okay, there's there's something up here that I want. I don't know how to get up there though. <laughs> Born to glide, forced to wipe. 500 captured dragons. Okay, I can probably go over there. But I don't want to yet. Spyro. <laughs> Spyro's enormous turning radius. Like, what? Watch this. Oh. I've insulted the game! It's mad! But yeah, like, 
Like if I try to turn all the way around, this is what that looks like. Ugh. Oh, wait, I, I forgot about the triangle trick. And thus, God has forsaken me. And understandably so, I would have forsaken me too. Just gotta, just gotta make it, take a little trick. Oh, there's something over there. I can probably get over there. Okay, there we go. Can I get up on the wall, though? Is there any way for me to do that? Doesn't look like it. So let me, let me just see. Eh. Nope, nope. Not working. To not spring off the cactus. Anything behind here? I probably already got that. What, what am I do about that? Let's see. I have to, I have to survey the land. There's, there's some way up there. That's where the key is. I mean, can I make it from over here? Uh, not like that. I can't. Don't worry. Just gonna do like 40 laps around the desert. Oh wait, is there some? There's some up there, I think. Some up there I haven't done. Can I glide over there? Nope. Nope. Not quite. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's a door. There's like a a doorway. I can probably do that. Oh well, I I I chickened out. I chickened out on that. No, yes, okay. I don't know if that's supposed to work, but it does. Okay, now I'm up on the cliff. Uh, what do I what do I do once I'm up on the cliff? Can I can I get over there from here? I, I I doubt it. I really doubt it. If I can get on top of there though, that might help me. Maybe not actually. I guess if you glide from- yeah, you're probably meant to glide from like up here. Yeah, there, there we go. Now I can go this way. No, don't do that. Like I said, I don't know what you're trying to do, but don't do it. Whatever it is, it can't be good for me. So the levels are getting a little bigger. Not like super huge, but there's like a little bit more meat on this than World 1. Ow.
Oh, no, don't don't run into the cactus, please. Nope, nope. That's not what you do. That's not what you do. There we go. That's a clean sweep. A clean sweep. But I, I see that. I see that over there. This little alcove. There's nothing in here, <laughs> but I saw it. You thought you could hide it from me. Okay, now go, go, Sporo. Go, no, no. I'm gonna go in here. I need to rescue this man. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you and we published Old. book, we've known... Uh, You've known? Ah, uh, I forget. Ah, uh, you get it? Because he has... He has dementia. He has Alzheimer's. Old people funny. Uh, no, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like the looks of that. Now get up here. Now please get up. Oh no. I'm going down. Okay, now I want, I want that chest. Okay, okay. No, actually that's like a money purse or whatever they call those. You know, a coin purse, like all them old ladies have, which is, you know, just brings us back to the, back to the subject of the elderly. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the odds of me getting over there from here. But maybe, maybe over here. Oh God, it's a bomb! I don't want it. Bombs, I do not want it. Ow. Okay, so the smart thing to do is to blow that up. <laughs> is to blow that up with the fire when you're not near it and not to ram headfirst into it. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta come back here because I don't have the key. Do not have the key. Yeah, and then you go over here. You go right over here as pretty as you please. It ain't no big thing. Okay. So this, this brings you back out over the here. But that doesn't help me. I still need to get to, uh, I still need to get up to that cliff. Won't. Hang on. I got this. Did it start playing a completely different song again? I guess so. Uh... Okay, let me try gliding from over here. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, okay, yeah, you can do it. You can do it from there. But you have to know what you're doing. Yeah, I almost, like, very nearly made that. 
But I didn't. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> yeah, it might just be a little sloppy code. Spyro, I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough. SpongeBob, me boy. I've been turned into a statue by Nasty Nork. <laughs> Er, Spongebob, me boy. I turned all me customers into statues, but now there's nobody left to buy me Krabby Patties. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't know if it's like my SD card speed, fragmentation, uh, or what, but I'll, I'll try a few different things to try and mitigate that, because this isn't the only game something like that has happened to. Like, there's sometimes I've noticed some, like, just occasional skipping. So I could I could probably stand to optimize this setup a little bit. Let's see what what time is it right now? I just want to see. Ten thirty. We're we're good. We're real, we're pretty good. How we doing? Oh, we're good. We're good. So if I exit level, do I get to keep my stuff, or do I have to go out via the portal for it to count? I mean, I guess it stays. Cl hmm. Hmm. You can just exit. Okay. Good to know. That'll save me some time. Yeah, I got 400 gems in there. We have passed the thousand mark. Spyro is rich, but unfortunately he doesn't know what money is. So it doesn't matter. What version of Mega Man 8 have you played? Uh, I've played both. I played the PS1 and the Saturn version. Though the first time was in an emulator. I played the Saturn version in an emulator. Okay, so I think we have time for at least one more stage. Maybe two. We'll see. So the Cliff Town. Oh, yeah, but yeah, very seamless level transitions in this game. Very impressive stuff. Anyone here played Wily Wars? Also me. Oh, stanky MIDI guitar. Canyon.mid. I own it as well. I got the uh, retro bit reproduction. While they were selling that. Honestly, I've I've considered like restreaming Wily Wars at some point. Oh the fat carrot lady. And her pot. Her pot of evil. Also, yeah, it's a really good skybox. How about over here? Is there anything cool over here? Yes, there is. It rewards a player for being thorough. It wasn't available in the US until it was bundled with retro devices and the Genesis Mini. Not technically true. It was available, but only through the Sega channel. Is that like a... Oh, that's like a Lizard. But yeah, if you had the Sega channel, you could play it for a brief period. 
But yeah, eventually they started including it with those like clone devices. And uh, like I said, Retrobit made a reproduction cartridge, which I have over here in the back somewhere. You know, it's, it's over there in the, you know, in the catacombs. <laughs> the Dustin VG catacombs. I still think that having a service is dumb. Uh, I mean, I think Sega Channel was a cool and good idea. It's just making games exclusive to it is not so good. <laughs> Halvor. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember oh, that's the neat part. You don't. Flame won't harm metal, but uh, charging with your horns, uh, I disagree. Flame... Uh, flame on metal would actually be quite bad if it was hot enough. Maybe it's just not hot enough. But yeah, y'all do know about, like, you know, the smithy. He, like, heats up the metal and he goes, ching, ching. And, you know, we, we just played a game all about that. That's like if Nintendo made Mortal Kombat a Satellaview exclusive. Well, okay, Nintendo didn't make Mortal Kombat, but I mean... I'm sure they wanted to make that Satellaview exclusive so that nobody would play it. Because Howard Lincoln was like... Oh, no, 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 Sega, the, the freaking... The freaking perverts and depraved lunatics over at Sega, they might, you know, they might do something like this. But we at Nintendo, wholesome Nintendo, we would never have such a horrible game as Night Trap or Mortal Kombat on our console. The crazy part to me is that Mortal Kombat was considered the lesser of that equation. Like, like, okay, Mortal Kombat is one thing, but we'll never have Night Trap. And, and then you play Night Trap and it's like the tamest thing you've ever seen in your life. Come on, firework. Does the fire work? Yes, it does. Um, I hope those don't despawn, because there's no way I'm getting up there that fast. But yeah, even then on SNES, Mortal Kombat 1 didn't have the blood. Which, I mean, I won't lie to you, is like half of the reason that people wanted it. <laughs> I mean, Mortal Kombat's a good game. But, but, let's be real, if it wasn't for the violence, it, it probably would not have made as much of a splash as it did. I mean, I guess the pre-rendered characters are also pretty cool. Not, I mean, not pre-rendered, but they were like digitized actors. Which is, which is pretty cool. I like stuff like that. But yeah, those two things are the main reason Mortal Kombat was a phenomenon for a while there. And, and like I said, absolutely no offense to people who like Mortal Kombat. I don't even dislike it. Hot take, the actual gameplay of classic Mortal Kombat is actual garbage. I mean, I will say that... I'm not a fighting game expert. So when I say like, oh, Mortal Kombat is, you know, pretty good actually. I I'm mostly just saying like, yeah, me, me, my layman's perspective didn't notice anything super wrong with it. But I'm also comically bad at fighting games. So, <laughs> you know, there's that. Take that as you will. <laughs> Toasty take. So guys, very important question. Is there pornography of the carrot woman? How much you want to bet there is? Asking for a friend? No, I'm asking for me. I absolutely know for a fact there's pornography of this guy, though.
the game did not respect my very professional question. Wait, hang on, what does that say? Oh, I'm missing one dragon somewhere. Go! 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 Okay, so there's some more over here. How do I- how do I get up there? Oh! I kinda went up the curve a little bit. Boy. Oh, yep. Yeah. After a little research, I can unfortunately confirm there is porn of the carrot ladies. Well, we appreciate your service. I think. Because that's not- that's not something I wanted to find out for myself. Or rather, I- I wanted to know, but I didn't want to see it. <laughs> now, how do I- how do I get up there? I need to figure that out. Eh. I could probably go to that cliff. Ow. Again, don't don't know why I say ow when I get hit in video games. It's not just me either. I notice other people do it. I don't I don't know why. I feel like we just kind of condition our brains. To just say like, oh yeah, we gotta we gotta say ow when we hit something. That's how it works. No, nope. ow. Yeah. Just that immer. Oh, there's a, like a little, a little thing here, like a little uh, sparkle tube. That's very nice. Is there something over here? How am I doing? Yeah, like I said, one dragon and a whole mess of gems I'm still missing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's up there. Can I get over to that cliff? Uh-oh. I, I regret this decision! I guess you want to do this instead. Like I said, I'm shocked you can go over here because these these feel like out of bounds areas. Especially when they have like these invisible walls that are just like, no, you can't go over here because there is a dragon deflecting portal. I mean a force field, not a portal. We went through a portal. That portal definitely did not deflect any dragons. Marco. You've reached the highest point in Cliff Town. You can get to almost You're anywhere right. from here. If I were you, LOD. Use that whirlwind there. <laughs> I mean, uh, hey, I, I ain't making fun. Game is optimized. Game do be running at a high frame rate. I like how you can't go past here, even though there's clearly just a, a bottomless pit on the other side. I mean, a high frame rate for the PS1, of course. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, how we how we doing? Still missing quite a few. Why is there so much muck? Is this is this the doing of nasty Nork? Is that his nasty Nork bath water? I do not approve. Oh hey, and it had it adds a little swirly thing, a little swirly do. Oh no, Jimmy Garber! Good thing I have a swirly do. In <laughs> Dark Souls shortcuts. I never actually played any of the Souls games. Probably should at some point. Because, you know, I'm, I'm one of those guys that really enjoys having his balls crushed by video games. And I give it exactly five minutes before my chat removes the in video games part of that. And honestly, I can't blame them for doing so. If anything, I make it too easy. Okay, how about now? Nope. Still missing like 40. There's like a little building here. But there's no- there's no entrance to this building. Yeah, just gonna skip. Listen, I'm sorry, my disc is scratched. It's just a little scratched, okay? Ignore the fact that this is an SD card. That's not important. Just a little, yeah, the SD card is scratched. That's right, he, he gets it. Can I go behind the the palace? I can. I I gotta say, they, they really get every nook and cranny out of these levels. They they get everything they could. You know, we paid for this level and gosh darn it, we are gonna use it. How about now? Uh, no, it, it says right there, 393. I don't know what I'm thinking. Did I get every- is there anything like back here? No? Okay. So yeah, missing a, a few. And yeah, the cactus- harming the cactus does nothing. The cactus just shrugs it off. Most powerful character in Spyro. Cactus. Undeterred. I'm pretty sure the Spyro Cactus could defeat Goku, I'm just saying. Dragon Ball fans don't want to admit it, but it's true. Okay, where do I- where do I look now? Hmm. Don't- I mean, don't tell me. Don't tell me yet. I- I- I've got the answers. I'm a big boy, I'll figure it out. I'm guessing it's probably over by the fortress somewhere. Don't, Spyro, do not go in there. Oh yeah, there's nothing over here. I feel like it's gotta be like over towards the ledge or something. Maybe there's like a little cliff side that you can go to or something. No. Or there could be something on the roof of this. What about what about up there? I don't know. I can't tell what type of roof that is. Honestly, the music might be a little loud compared to the sound effects. I don't know. Yeah, that's a pointy roof. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking. I'm checking all avenues. 
I mean, I'm assuming that I can't go over there to, uh, to that thing. But you know, I could try. Oh, oh, there's one. Oh, that's worth five. Oh, okay. That's it. That's all it w there was to that. Save the game. Okay, we might have time for one more stage. I've been recording for one hour, 45 minutes. Technically, I've been going for a little over two hours, but... But some of that was me trying to get the audio not to sound like complete garbage. Not entirely sure why... Not entirely sure why it was clicking, but that sort of happens with my Super Nintendo, so I'm prepared for that sort of thing. There's a hidden level you missed in the first hub world. That is interesting. That you would say that. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Shimp. Hang on, I'll, I'll check back in there. We'll see if there's something. Ah, oh, yes, one up. One up. Oh, wait, he's not over here. How do I... Wait, how do I... Do I have to go to him to the other place? I think I might have to go to the other place. Oh, banjo. I love a good banjo when they use it just right. Uh, okay, no, he says magic crafters. Guys, how do I go back? <laughs> how do I go back to artisans? Hi, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. 25. You for gore. Hang on, you know, there's a friend, I have a friend that I always will ask these sort, sort of questions and it's called Google. So let me, let me check the Goog. Spyro, uh, the dragon travel <laughs> to, to hub. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not fi I'm not finding the information that I seek. Am I just am I just stuck here forever? I don't know. I can't <laughs> I can't figure out how to go back. <laughs> like, I, you would think it would be this. It says you can use the guidebook. The guidebook? Or talk, talk to the balloon guy again. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So yeah, he just he just won't let you do it the first time. <laughs> I 
All right, so let's let's see what I missed here. Okay, this is where the boss is. The quote unquote boss. That was what's in here. This is the way to this is the way to the yeah, the pier. That was like the dark place. And I, I, I went that way. Yeah, that's the boss. Hmm. Hmm. Let me know if you want me to take... Nah, give me, give me one sec. Uh, get get the camera out of there. It's probably like if you it probably wants me to glide somewhere wacky. Knowing this game. Okay, it's not under the bridge. Don't don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Stone Hill, Stone Hill. Yeah, it's the same on both sides. Listen, I... I have ways. I can find out. I can discover things. I just need... To, I just need to ram my head up against it for a little bit. Because honestly, I rem I kind of remember something that I haven't seen yet. So I I do I do feel like I, I might have found it before. Mm. This is a very weird like little platform here. They were like gems over here, right? Wait, wait. I hear something. I hear something. Three D sound effect. Did I get everything here? I mean, I might be... No, it tells you, it tells you when there's an egg. That's nice. Yeah, that's Dark Hollow. But yeah, here's something behind the waterfall area. Hmm. I'm just- I'm just trying to think about how I would approach this. Because, yeah, I don't... I don't know, bopping my head don't do nothing. And fire don't seem to do nothing. I'm just trying- mm. Mm, Hang on, hang on, hang on, I got this! Don't tell me! Do not tell me. You can stand on this wall a little bit. Come on, go, go up. <laughs> go up. 
Mm, I feel like you want to get on top of the hill or something. Is that that's something this game has done a lot of? Maybe if I try again here. No, there's nothing back there. Oh, spin fire. Yeah, and there's there's nothing on that. There's nothing on that. And yeah, I can't I can't make it over there. And yeah, like I said, I got I got all the dragons and all the gems, so it's not like a completion bonus. Burn the trees. Of course, deforestation. And just save it just to be safe. Just to be safe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out, but it's not, it's not going good. Uh, it is not going good. Because, yeah, there's absolutely something. There's something here. I know you can't hide it. You cannot hide it. We drowned Spyro, but it was for the greater good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was wondering why there were so many of those. <laughs> Yeah, the flying level. Oh, oh. Oh, you can land? Oh, okay. Uh oh, uh oh. Crap. Yeah, I want to try again. Oh, that was a little sad. So, I'm guessing it's like a high score thing. Okay, you can do an aileron roll. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I'm so dead. I no, I'm fine. Actually, I'm okay. I'm the most okay man that there ever was. Yeah, blow up the train. Don't don't get die. Do not get die. Yes, the Red Baron, kill him! Now, where, where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of them? There they are. No, 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 don't, don't get on to me. I got this. Maybe I don't got this. 
Ah, crud. So I got 120. What's what's over here? What's over here? So you can kind of abort the roll out. Okay, so yeah, you hold you hold cross and he goes faster. There are no words for how much I've got this. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, you kind of want to abort that a little sooner than I did. Okay, okay. Now just got to deal with the trains. But there's more. There's more train. I got this! Yes! A new record! So is there like... Is there... Oh, no, oh yeah, you get treasure for it, okay. I was gonna say, is there any reason to do that, or is it just like, just for fun? But no, you, you do get a reward, you do get a little bit of a prize. Very cool. I, I like it. It's fun. I like it. Anyway, that'll be it for right now. Thank you for tuning in to my stream after this long, unplanned hiatus. <laughs> my microphone stopped working, what can I say? And uh, thanks everybody for really good turnout, honestly. Like, very good turnout by my standards. So yes, very much appreciated. Thank you all for your time and your chat. And yeah, next time, uh, probably doing the Mario RPG post-game stuff. Because I, I want to get that out of the way long before Thousand Year Door comes out. I don't want to. I don't want to play them too close to each other. But good night, everybody. Love you.